So thank you for your leadership, uh, Prime Minister. Um, let's, uh, let's tell it here in the House. Uh, Estonia was one uh, of the first country, if not even the first country, to send weaponry uh, to uh, Ukraine. And you are showing that in these uh, dramatic uh, circumstances, uh, smaller countries in our union count and uh, can lead by example. So thank you very much uh, for that. But for the rest, let's not uh, pat ourselves on the back. The sad reality, dear colleagues, is that we are not doing enough for Ukraine today. It's a no-fly zone is not on the radar. Our financial sanctions are only targeting seven banks, Russian banks. That's 30% of the Russian banking sector. And most importantly, there is still no ban on Russian oil and gas. Ukraine is fighting for European values and for our democracies, while we, Europeans, continue to finance the war machine of Putin, the evil. So, in my opinion, it's time that, after the Americans and the British, also we decide on a full temporary ban on Russian oil and gas as long as this aggression is continuing. That is what we need to do. And yes, we will suffer, but we will survive in the coming months. But it is not clear if the Ukrainians will survive in the coming months if we don't take that decision. And we don't need, Mr. Borrell, it's not to you that I'm telling that, it's to the Commission in general, a fantastic strategic paper to lower our dependency to Russian gas. No, that's for later. What we need now is immediate action and a decision on Thank the European you. level to ban, a temporary ban, until the end of the war of Russian oil and gas.